three i've got a big project to do today i can't wait to show you hey guys marsh big here and today i am loading some stuff up into my booth i have sold over a hundred dollars my very first week and my booth is still somewhat empty so i'm now motivated <laughs> to get some more stuff in the booth taking some quilts, some shabby chic um, Chanel quilts in, and then this box of stuff. And also, this was a god wink for me. My favorite YouTuber that I love to watch is the Crazy Lamp Lady, and she always uses banana boxes to move her stuff. And I just happened to go to a garage sale the other day, and they loaded up my stuff in a banana box. So I'm feeling like that's a good sign. So we're gonna go in and play store and put all this stuff in my booth okay let's see so here's an empty spot I sold a picture here's another big empty spot I sold another picture and everything off the bottom of that shelf is gone nothing got a couple things up here so but look at this y'all I've got so much empty space I need to start filling it up so that's what we're gonna do today Alright, the quilt goes in. Also, my little tags I made out of um, scrapbook paper that I had. My sweet darling daughter Esther got me a Cricut. So I just cut them all into hexagon shapes. And those are my price tags. This is a purple, green, and white chenille blanket. How cute are these little placemats? Got these, I think. For a dollar at a garage sale this week so somebody will get a good deal out of them i have a soft spot for vintage linens so these are some groovy pillowcases and then these are some shabby chic ones so those are the quilts there's a sweet little frame with music notes on it i tried to play the melody but i think it's just something kind of random so it doesn't actually play a song I don't know that this is vintage, but I love it. Look at that pink. Not neat. Brand new, never been colored coloring book. The colors on this one just make me super happy. Um, I don't know who made this. It does say under the crackle under the bottom, it does say made in the USA. Look at this cutie pie, little strawberry jar. Isn't this sweet? I don't know if you can see it. It's got little daisies. Got little daisies on it. Just a cute little bud vase. Okay, so as I was going through my stuff, I realized I have a whole box full of little baby elephants. I don't know why. I'm just drawn to elephants for some reason. Anyway, so I've made this little sign. I got this at the Dollar Tree, this cute little clipboard thingy. So it says, elephants on parade, trunks up. For luck good luck if the trunk is up so I'm gonna put all these out all right so here's the elephants on parade I love this one ain't she sassy all right so I have lots of this is and that's in here so I'm gonna pull these out and then show you what I did okay so I got everything out of the box this cute little white bird all these little creamers I have a problem picking up little creamers some salt and pepper shakers these are Polish pottery napkin rings. These are really cute. They've got different veggies on them. Let's see, I think the last one's an onion. Yeah, those are really pretty fun. Some Starbucks cups. Um, I already showed you the picture. Let's see what else. All right, so I put up a little sign, time for tea. So I've got my tea sets up here found this not too long ago I just thought that was a really pretty pattern um let's see what else oh with this little chickadee plate and that's sweet and then I had some some jewelry um, I don't have a good way to display it yet so I just hung it off the rack for right now I still haven't made a dent in the space that I have um, so I need to go home and find some more stuff and bring it up. All right, so a few days have passed and I am back now with another cart full of stuff to put in the booth. And 
I kind of went a little more crazy this time. I took some time and got a lot of stuff priced out. So we're gonna we're gonna fill the sucker up today. Maybe I don't know. There's still stuff at home, but this is uh, that's a really good start. So let's go in and start setting it up. Here we go. Some more elephants. A little chalkboard. Put some baskets up here. This cool wooden pitcher. A couple of things here. This is like a whole lotus garden bamboo thing going on here. We're getting this pretty full of the little things. Look at these cute little frogs. That's cute. All right, I am starting to get some stuff down here, but obviously we need some more. Did a little kitchen section down here. Added this cute little cow and some fish. Cute little things here. Some more teacups. This really neat blueberry wreath. Tempted to keep it, but I gotta get rid of some stuff. Um, a dragonfly wreath hanger, which I think is really neat. Um, put some linens in the basket. These humongous bags. They're like huge, huge. I can't even really show you how big they are. Um, this is to make the booth smell good. Little sachets of lavender. And then this is the cutest thing. I don't know if you can see that. They're bees. They're little soaps. Isn't that great? So I thought that looked cute on that little hat stand looking thing. Um, over here, I have a bird in a cage. I made this, actually. <laughs> um, I found the pieces in different places and then put them together. I think he's really sweet. Um, some things down there. So yeah, I think she's looking good. I still need to find something for there, maybe there, and fill in up here. I've also brought my old stereo and I'm playing some Sinatra in my booth very lightly just to give a different vibe. So I'm trying to appeal to the senses. So we've got the smell and we've got the sound and we've got the sight. Maybe I need to bake some cookies and leave them in here too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back to the house and see what else I can find. I uh, have a couple more shelves down there too. So there's still room for more. Whew. Okay, so trip number three, I've got a big project to do today. I can't wait to show you. Okay, so there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six shelves. So what I did is I just screwed them into each other down here at the bottom. And then I screwed them into the wall over here. So they're not going to be going anywhere. They don't move at all. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, so the cool thing is I made these boxes probably a year ago out of scrap. Scrap stuff. And then the paint, two of the paints we already had at our house. And then the other ones I picked up for 50 cents at Home Depot. Like the little sampler thingies. So pretty cheap project if you ask me. Alright, so this was my next project. I had some shutters that I got from Habitat for Humanity and I screwed them onto the back of this bookshelf and then this one right here is a full shutter that I screwed on to the side. Not fun and uh, that's kind of how the back looks. Got a little place I could hang stuff off of there too, so. Okay, here it is. So far today, I've hung up all kinds of my handmade earrings. Got some cool bracelets. Some cute little stuff here. This is what the inside looks like now. Put the little metal rack, it fits right inside there. Isn't that fantastic? Not, not anything's changed really over here. Not much over here either, but I got necklaces and earrings hanging down there. So 
I'm pretty excited. I think it's looking good. Whew, I think I was there for a little over an hour, but it feels good. It feels good to get things done. And it's looking really cute and I'm very, very excited. So I'm gonna end the video here for today. I will for sure take you next time I go and stock it and we can see what's been purchased and what else I'm putting in. Um, yeah. So if you're enjoying watching these videos of me setting up shop, uh, please hit that subscribe button and punch the like button for me as well. It does help a lot helps my channel to grow. And so I appreciate your support and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, hey, so I'm gonna put a little PS at the end of this video and let you know that I am scheduling my first what not auction. Now, what is what not you may ask? Well, it's a very cool new platform where you can do live auctions. So you can watch me, kind of like you're watching me now, but you can also like buy the stuff. So if I hold up a cute little elephant or something and say, look how cute, you wanna bid on it? And then you can bid on it and then you can buy it and then I can ship it to you. So it's kind of a cross between eBay and like a live selling auction. And it's very, very cool. Um, I've been wanting to do a show for quite some time and I think I'm about ready to pull the trigger. My very first one, is going to be selling vintage jewelry and some of the handmade jewelry that I've made because I have a ton of it. And so I just, I thought that that would be kind of a fun way to start it. So go download the app, What Not. Look for me, Busy B M K T, and I'll give you more details later. Thanks, bye.